So I am a part of DOE's ARM initiative, which is basically accelerating radiotherapeutics through advanced molecular nanoconstruct. We are trying to build a targeted radiotherapeutic strategy for delivering the alpha emitting radioisotope in the tumor cell. As I don't think I'm in A's here, I need to emphasize on the fact that how uh, devastating cancer is. It not only impacts the patient, but also the friends, family, and the community also. So um, there are several uh, con like uh, strategies or there are several conventional therapeutic strategies exist, which includes uh, the chemotherapy and the non-targeted radiotherapy also. But the most of the problems with all those uh, treatment strategies is that they are highly non-specific. They basically target the, um, uh, like it is untargeted, they basically target the population of cells that shows proliferation or tumorous um, growth. In recent years, a much greater emphasis has been placed on the targeted radionuclear therapy. And um, Oak Ridge National Lab, or DOE, we are the foremost um, in the production for the alpha-emitting radioisotope. And our intention was to, uh, you know, uh, uh, lower the gap between the production and the application. So what we hypothesize or what we wanted to do is uh, we wanted to make a platform which is based on uh, nanoparticles or nanoconstruct based platform by which we can deliver uh, specifically the alpha emitting radioisotope, most importantly the actinium-225 and radium-223 to the CMR cells because um, the alpha emitting radioisotope can have multiple decay daughters and it has higher linear energy but it can travel shorter distance so it's like a wrecking ball compared to the beta, beta which is like a bullet so we want to deliver the higher lethal cytotoxic amount of dose to the tumor cell while having minimal exposure to the surrounding healthy tissue and among the delivery strategy nanoparticles uh, have been pursued as a vehicle for the targeted radioisotope delivery and in my poster or in our research work, the key highlight is we uh, generate a nanoparticle based platform and uh, we specifically presented a lanthanum orthovanetate in organic nanoparticles. We did a surface functionalization methods and uh, we showed uh, the key highlight or the most important thing that we showed in this presentation is that uh, without adding any nuclear localization signal, we achieved the 80% almost nuclear delivery of this nanoconstruct just by doing surface functionalization methods, adding PEG molecules. Then second thing we showed that uh, when you use almost equivalent dose of radioactive isotope like actinium-225 I used for our study, we showed that when you use the equivalent amount of dose of actinium, you will achieve much higher cytotoxicity towards the tumor spheroid when those actinium is encapsulated in these lanthanum orthovanidate nanoparticles compared to the untargeted radioisotope. And how did we measure? At Oak Ridge National Lab, we cannot use live animal. So we use a three-dimensional breast cancer spheroid as our model. And then we measured the cytotoxicity by using the Incusite SX5 live imaging analysis. And there we showed that there is a disintegration of the tumor spheroid after the treatment with nanoparticles encapsulated with uh, actinium-225. And it lowers the spheroid size over 12 days of span as well as at the downstream mechanism we showed that it induces much higher amount of DNA double-stranded break compared to the equivalent dose of untargeted radioactive material which is a breakthrough because it shows two different things one you developed a 
platform that could be useful not only for delivering this radioisotope but in future we have a plan or uh, to do the co-encapsulation uh, of two different radioisotope pair like one for di uh, diagnosis other for therapy so a perfect theranostics composition and also we want to try these nanoparticles for the combinational therapy for the immune therapy also for delivering the drug and uh, we also showed that um, this nanoparticle actually with the radio nanoparticles, radio immune conjugate, they actually induces the apoptosis in the cancer cells higher, much higher, significantly higher compared to the untargeted radioisotope. But this is also a passive targeting of nanoparticles. So our ultimate goal is to generate a toolbox for the active targeting or with the active targeting nanoparticle. So how we are going to make it actively targeting towards the tumor cell. So at Oak Ridge National Lab, we have uh, in-house nanobody production facilities like we, we are working on that. And then we are using different nanobodies Nanobodies are much smaller compared to the monoclonal antibody and it is much more impactful using as a molecular targeting vector. So currently we are working with two different nanobodies and one of them I presented here is that uh, HER2 specific nanobody. HER2 is overexpressed in several cancer including the breast cancer. So immuno uh, like nanobody targeting HER2 is a uh, provides a great tool for the future radioimmunotherapy. So here in this poster, I also showed that when we use that HER2 targeting nanobody conjugated with the macropyl chylator and radio leveled with actinium, that shows a highly specific uptake binding and internalization in the breast HER2 positive breast cancer, but not in any HER2 negative cells. And then the hard to targeting nanobody when leveled with the actinium 225 shows much higher impact on cell death, clonogenicity, and DNA double stranded break compared to the untargeted radioactive material. So currently what we are trying to do, we are trying to put this nanobody uh, coating uh, or I like to call it as a GPS tracker for my nano car. I call the nano particles as a car like a cargo ship it has the radioisotope inside it and then we would like to put this nanobody on the surface and would like to deliver uh, the specific lethal amount of toxic doses to the particular cancer cells where we want them to go compared to the untargeted populations of random cells.